Welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to learn about the last advanced data type in Python, which is sets. So, what is a Python set? It's a special case of a list where the elements can only be unique. So, what differentiates the list from the set? First, the list can contain any number of elements. These elements can be repeated or not. We don't really care. Okay. But for the set, the elements need to be unique, okay? There are some other differences as we are going to see, but for now you need to understand that the set is a special case of a list where the elements can only be unique. The second difference is that set cannot be indexed. So while in the list we can use indexing and slicing and so on, here in the set we cannot do so. We cannot index the elements so based on this information it's no surprise that sets don't really have order however sets are mutable so you can add and remove elements from the set so in the tuple we saw that tuples were actually immutable strings were actually immutable we couldn't really change the values in the tuples or the strings once they are assigned but for the dictionaries, we could change the values. For the lists, we can change the values. And also for the sets, we can change the value. But you might ask how we can do so if the set is not indexed. So how we can add or remove values from the set. We will see this in a moment when we go to the sets functions. Okay. But let's first understand how we can create a set. We create a set using the curly brackets. So we saw that for the list, we use the square brackets. For the tuple, we use the circular brackets. For the dictionary, we use the curly brackets. Now for the set, we also use the curly brackets. So what will differentiate the set from the dictionary? What will differentiate the set from the dictionary is basically we had key value pairs, right? So we had the colon operator. We used the colon. Here, we don't have a colon. So as you can see, this is very very similar to the list but the only difference is that here we have curly brackets instead of square brackets right and if you try to index or assign values you will see that this will throw an error and this will also throw an error so if we try to access the index number one here or access the index number one here it will throw an error so how to access their elements or add or remove elements from the set we will see in a moment but first you need to understand also that if we have repeated objects or repeated values in the set we have one two three and then another one if we print the set it will not throw an error what you will see is that the elements that are printed are only one two and three so if there is any redundancy any repeated elements or any repeated values in the set then they will be rejected right they will be reduced they will be vanished you don't really need to care about this this will be done internally in python it will not throw an error it doesn't really require any extra care or special care it will be just done for you okay so how to add or remove values from a set to add elements we use the add function so if we want to add four to this set we will just write my set dot add and then the value that we want to add right so if we print the new set you'll see that we have one two three and then four okay if we want to remove elements from the set we will use the pop function right so as you can see here we have my set and we cannot really choose the value we want to remove but how is that we just said that we don't really have order basically because they are inserted in the memory above each other or under each other right this is how they are stored in the memory they don't really have order for you so you can access them or change them explicitly but we can remove the last element right or you can add to the last element right so if we add four it will be added above all the other elements in the set if we remove an element using pop the first element from the top will be removed right you don't really have access 
for all the other elements or even this element right you can just use the add or the pop function to add or remove the last element but we cannot really access the element number one or the element number two and this is for some specific reasons in python that you can read about okay but for now this is everything you need to understand for the sets it's pretty simple now let's go to the code and see all this stuff we have been talking about so here we are first we are creating a set and as we said we create the set using the curly brackets just like this and how we can differentiate the set from the dictionary instead of the colon we are using a comma right so we have one 5.2 and then s we can have any type of data in the set right we can have integers floats dictionaries or whatever so we created this set and these are the values for this set and here we printed the type of the set and as you can see here it's a set right so we have one 5.2 and s right now if we want to try to index the set you will see that set object doesn't support indexing so the error is very very clear this type of objects which is the set doesn't really support indexing so we cannot really access any of the elements using indexing okay now if we have duplicated values for example here we have one 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 two and then another one if we run this code you will see that we have only in the set one and two the code didn't throw an error didn't require from us any special care or special consideration it will just remove any duplicated elements okay so this is very very useful in some specific use cases as we will see in the data science and machine learning so sometimes we prefer to use sets over lists or over tuples so as you can see any duplicated elements will be removed now if we want to add values we will use the add function so now if we use the add function just like this you will see the new set right now or the original set after adding this element is now one two and three if we add five you will see that we have five added where it's added after the three so in fact it has some order but you don't really have access to this order you cannot use indexing okay so we have one two three five now how to remove values or elements from the set we use the pop function as we discussed and if we use the pop function you will see that the element or the value that was popped is one right now if we print the set you will see that we have two three and five so the first element is the one that will be popped and when we add values it will be added to the end so we add values to the end and we remove values from the beginning okay now if we use the pop function again we will pop two and now the set contains only three and five so it's in fact mutable we can change values of the set okay are these the only functions that sets have no if we go to the set right you will see that we have a function called clear another function called copy difference discard intersection and many other functions right but the most important ones that you might be using for this course or maybe for many months or years to go are the pop and add functions but if you need to understand or need to use any of the other functions you will just use it like this right read the documentation remove an element from a set if it's a member if the element is not a member do nothing so it's very very similar to the pop function right but if you want to remove a specific element okay so these are the most important functions and the most important concepts for the set now in the next lesson we will see how to choose the best data type for your specific use case right now and another concept called compound data types and this concept is very very cool so we will combine them in one video and it will be very very fun to watch so let's go